To make our artwork more detailed and looking professional, we need to add more shading which we can do by adding a variety of color or values to our original shape. The artwork we have right here is okay and can be used for web or mobile games. But of course, this is not enough for us as we know we can always do better. And that's where blending modes come in. We can use blending modes to bring out more details in our artwork and make it look more professional. Now there are a lot of blending modes and luckily we will only use two. And the first one is multiply and the second one is the screen mode. And to simply put it, multiply makes the artwork darker and screen makes the artwork lighter. So if I'm gonna draw a simple shape here and turn it to multiply, I'm just get, I'm gonna have this effect. And if I draw another shape again and turn it to screen mode, I'm gonna have the opposite effect. Knowing this, we can use and abuse blending modes to make our base art more detailed. And since I always use these two blending modes, I've set up my own keyboard shortcuts for them which are Shift S for screen and Shift D for multiply. And this has made me create artworks in the fastest time possible and it has helped me become more efficient in my workflow. Okay, so what we have right here is a basic sword. Just the handle and the blade and it looks pretty boring. Now, we will use the two blending modes we have discussed and see how we can improve upon this basic shape. First, we will make the darkest part of the sword and handle. This is a fairly cartoony artwork and we can just draw on half of the sword and press shift D to turn it to multiply and remove the excess part by selecting both the sword base and the multiply shape and using our handy shape builder tool to remove the excess. And now I'm going to do the same thing we did for the blade and we'll draw another shape or a rectangle for the handle here and turn it to multiply again by pressing shift D and by the shape builder tool I'm gonna remove the excess again and now for the lightest part we will be using screen mode and we can draw the shines on a typical cartoony sword by pressing shift s to turn it to screen mode and remove the excess using the shape builder tool once again and now I'm just drawing the reflections for the sword and which we can do by drawing diagonal lines and then pressing shift s again to turn them into screen mode and I'm just gonna remove the excess by using the shape builder tool again and I'm just gonna draw another smaller highlight here using diagonal lines again press shift s to turn it into screen mode and remove the excess again by using shape builder tool now for the handle I'm just gonna draw a rectangle shape here and I'm gonna press shift s to turn it to screen mode and just gonna remove the excess by using the shape builder tool again and for the bottom of the handle I'm gonna draw a rectangle again and press shift D to make it multiply and remove the excess again I will also add a little highlight for the sword handle and remove the excess again and lastly I'm going to add a small highlight on the bottom of the handle. So I just use screen there and remove the excess again. Okay, so here is our final sword. And as you can see, it is really possible to create professional looking game art just by using or knowing how to use blending modes such as multiply and screen mode. So use this knowledge to further improve your game art and create professional looking game assets. Now here are some of my creations and in this example you can see artworks where the basic blending modes are at play and we can say that by learning how to use screen and multiply blending modes properly one can create professional looking game art.